So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild an old downhill bike. I have a bike called Alha. It was from 2008. It's a gearbox bike. I won the Junior Worlds. Not with me on it, but with somebody else. It's from New Zealand, and it was made by some madman who disappeared off the face of the earth with people's money, including mine at the time, which wasn't the ideal. It's got a gearbox, it's quite slack for its, its age, and I'm just going to see how the old build compared to a new modern build with new parts, better suspension, see if it actually makes a difference or if just leave the old stuff in the past. It still rides great, although it's quite short now compared to some of the modern modern bikes. Uh, in terms of angles, it's actually kind of similar. And it just needs somebody fast on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm kind of making taking it from old to new. Uh, I'm going to do some timed runs on it in the original spec, which it's been hanging up in my garage for quite a long time. And then I'm going to give it a full makeover. New forks, new shock, new everything pretty much. Tie bolts throughout, a uh, full finishing kit from Hope, brakes, carbon wheels, some nice new Michelin tyres, and we're going to see if spending a bit of money on it and making it a bit more modern with some new modern tech on it, to see if it makes it faster. Bike's looking pretty good, considering it's not really been touched in a long time. Uh, I just need to get it to a kind of rideable state now, so we're just kind of refitting some parts, just checking some bearings, and just giving it a kind of once over. to put the cassette back on because it doesn't actually fit without this so I need to put this on screw that on but anti sees and then just screw it right on okay, into that there. so just mounting the, the shock there now uh, putting the old shock mounts back in because they were flying loose in my garage so putting it in two dog bones connect together for the shock there one on each side so it just bolts in just also trying to figure out what the what bolts were what. This is what happens when you strip something and you don't know what you're doing. It should almost be like that there. So that slides in like that there. So what's the why has it got a nylon thread? So that's the securing nut for the axle. It just screws on a big thread. So make it a reach out. Last time I rode this, uh, this bungee cord snapped and I absolutely ruined myself. Two thousand and eight Lahar DHV M9. The bike is a high pivot with a linkage driven shock, and it's also got flex stays, which you have to uh, put under tension. So technically, the shock's kind of always under a bit of uh, pressure, so it's not always just on and off. It kind of never feels like you're bottoming out on the bike, so it's always got a wee bit more, even when the shocks it is full travel. Underneath here uh, is the kind of gearbox of the bike. It's a a roll-off hub that's modified slightly to, to make it fit. And the, the cam tensioners are for to get the, the chain set up kind of running smoothly. The roll-off uh, hub itself is on a grip shift, which from even then it sounded kind of a bit backwards because everybody was using trigger shifts. 
but once you kind of get used to it, it's actually really good. Another thing that's a bonus of it is that you don't need to be pedaling to shift. You can shift under offload, so and shift through one of the 14 gears that it's got. So the bike's probably seen better days in terms of the the components that's on it, but we're going to take it up the hill and. Uh, see how it rides and get a, a benchmark on it. This is uh, my test rider for our one minute track. Um, it's quite handy on a bike, um, quite handy in a car. Not bad in a motorbike, um, but it doesn't say much. That's the only issue. So, we're finished for the day, uh, reports are in, the bike actually rides quite well, uh, the suspension's pretty decent, but uh, the front brake needs some work, pads are glazed, the disc snackered, front tyres perished, so that wasn't hooking up very well, but uh, like in the Fast and the Furious, I'm going to ship in some overnight parts from Japan. So tune in to the next episode where we take this old, unique downhill bike and make it a proper super bike. Yeah.